Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us for this webinar. Today, I want to share with you a very powerful value. If there is any value that can propel you to success, the value would be tenacity. The title of my presentation is Tenacity, a, cre a Key Ingredient to Achieve Sustainable Success. Now, before I begin, I'd like to quickly share with you a real life story. I want to share with you about the longest walk in my life. This walk is only about 100 meters, but in my mind, it seemed like I walked for ages. The walk was from a lecture theater in a university to a student dormitory. Two ladies were walking in front of me and they were deep in discussion. Every now and then, they would turn around and ask me some difficult questions. I've never had to think so hard to respond to any question prior to their walk. The reason is because the outcome of the ladies' discussion could literally wipe off a good six months of my life. More seriously, it would add stress and frustration on me and make my life really tough. Prior to the two ladies' discussion, I had embarked on completing a terminal degree, or what some would call the pinnacle of a tertiary education. It was a lifelong dream to stretch myself and put myself to one of the toughest rigors in the university. I had also wanted to conduct research and hopefully contribute to the growing body of knowledge and improve society. Since young, I loved to learn, but since I came from a very poor family, I had to support myself financially through a series of university programs and do it on a part-time basis. For years, I would spend about three nights and sometimes weekends in classes and after a tiring day or week of work. The rest of the free time would mainly be spent in the library, completing assignments and studying for examinations. Meanwhile, I had to juggle my passion for learning with growing responsibilities and duties at the workplace. After completing a bachelor's and two master's degree, I pursued other studies. Eventually, I only attended short-term seminars and courses. All this while, I had never forgotten an item on my bucket list, and that is to earn a doctorate degree. As I grew older and immersed myself in other pursuits, it became harder and harder to make my dream come true. There were lots of excuses that almost convinced me to put off my aspiration. Subconsciously, there were also growing doubts about my determination, discipline, and diligence. On fateful day, I was given something that I couldn't for the world remember what it was but I would never forget the newspaper that was being used to wrap the thing. A relatively small advertisement on the newspaper caught my eyes and never left my mind. It seemed to pop out and was screaming at me. It was an advertisement for less than 20 students to pursue a doctoral degree at the University of Southern California. The course of study was designed for qualified senior executives for senior, qualified senior executives from different parts of the world. These students had to go through a series of stringent coursework at three different campuses in Los Angeles, Doha, and Hong Kong, and subsequently complete a doctoral dissertation. With support from my family, I applied and was accepted into the doctoral program. At a point in time, little did I know that I had invested my total being into one of the toughest journeys of my life. Why was it tough? First, I was one of the oldest students in the cohort and probably in the university. I had no foundational knowledge about many of the subjects. In fact, some of them were initially way, way beyond my understanding. The focus of my research was in financial literacy. Few professors in the universities were available to give me expert advice and guidance on the topic. On top of that, I started some new businesses and investment ventures which took time and attention away from my studies. 
I was also busy trying to manage many private affairs. At the same time, I had to run many other initiatives, including a relatively long list of professional, civic, charity, philanthropic, grassroots and humanitarian involvements. In addition to all these challenges, it didn't help to be reminded that only 1% of the people in the world have completed a doctorate degree. It placed doubts in my mind about whether I can make it to the finish line. In the process of the program, some of the students from my cohorts and others decided to drop out of the course. And they were bright students and their withdrawals make me question my own ability and perseverance. Some of my friends actually asked me, at this stage in your life, Patrick, does it matter if you have a doctorate degree? How does it help you in your business? Shouldn't you focus on more important things in life? To put it mildly, I was not only well-intendedly discouraged on many occasions, occasions, I was also struggling in so many different ways throughout my course. There were moments where and I felt really, sorry, let me start over again. Uh, there were moments where I felt like crying, especially when I was studying alone and in the middle of the night. Then I went through one of the biggest shocks and failures in my learning journey. And that was how the story of the walk came into the picture. The walk was one of the most poignant moments of my doc doctoral journey. Prior to the work, I had already submitted and defended and defended the proposal for my dissertation. In addition, I had done a fair amount of research and crafted the first three chapters of my dissertation. What I had done for my dissertation was like a steep climb on a dark and scary virgin mountain. Any student who had gone through the same rocky path would sympathize with me. Shortly after, I was discussing my dissertation with the professor who taught me quantitative and qualitative research methodology. Imagine the shock when she told me that all this while I had been doing my dissertation wrongly. This would mean that I had to delete all that I've done and start all over again. Her words made me feel weak all over and brought me down to an emotional low and that was when the supervisor of my dissertation was called upon to talk to her actually it was more like to argue with her for my sake from a short distance away i could see the two ladies highly regarded professors debating about my dissertation i could feel the verbal cut and trust but i could not hear the words Finally, both of them turned to me and said what I had been dreading to hear. Patrick, sorry. Your dissertation is wrong. You have to start all over again. I felt like the road beneath me had opened up and I was plunged into depths of emotional darkness. That evening, no matter how I look at my disqualified dissertation, I couldn't think of how I could pick up the pieces. I couldn't imagine starting my journey all over again. I almost put up my hands and surrendered to the bitter winds of disappointment and rejection. Thankfully, after walking around town like a zombie for a few days, I found the courage and strength to restart the project all over again. In the words of my alma mater's better cry, I had to fight on. After the failure, I went on to battle many other challenges. I had to overcome other failures. I came close to mental and emotional exhaustions at times. Thanks to the encouragement and support of many people around me, I dug into the reservoir of stamina and pressed on until I completed the race. I received the doctorate degree from the university on 11th of August, 2016. Just as importantly, I'm overjoyed for scoring straight A's for my coursework 
and I'm proud of my final dissertation. It was also a great honor to be nominated to deliver the student speech for the celebration dinner on 17th of July 2015 at the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion in Los Angeles. Looking back on my doctoral journey, I learned and I'm still learning about one of the most critical factors for achieving sustainable success. That critical success factor is tenacity. Without tenacity, you can never achieve sustainable success. Tenacity is the passion, determination, discipline, perseverance, and resilience to achieve worthwhile dreams. It is the long, narrow, and stony path between you and your desired goals. Through ever improving tenacity, you will end at sustainable success. Tenacity is not just about having the guts, grit, and gumption to do what you want to do. It is also about doing the things that you don't want to do in order to reach the desired destination. Tenacity drives you to perseverance despite obstacles, adversity, and failures along the way. Tenacity is a trait that can be developed and it can be fine-tuned through constant commitment, focus efforts, and improvement. Practicing tenacity can become a habit. In the same way, quitting can also be a habit. So why not choose the habit of practicing tenacity? Tenacious people don't ask, what if I fail? They also ask themselves, what if I don't succeed? They don't just ask, is there a way? They also ask, how can I find a way? How can I develop a better way or pursue a better destination? Am I willing to risk who I am for the sake of who I should be? What I do for the sake of what I should do and what I have for the sake of what I should have? If you run out of solutions, tenacity will eventually help you develop appropriate solutions. When you press on to develop tenacity, tenacity will help you press on towards success. When a problem is too big for you to overcome, tenacity compels you to grow stronger and bigger than your problem so that you are better positioned to overcome the problem. When you press on in pressing on, you will get better in completing the task. The race will get easier. As you become more tenacious, you will become luckier too. Tenacity allows you to try different keys and one of these keys may even unlock the door to achieve the impossible. To practice, the, to practice tenacity is to live like water. Let me rephrase some of the words from Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. Water is an essence of life. It cleanses and purifies, and it is a life giver too. It thrives because it is a vital resource to humans, families, communities, and society. There is no other element that can take on different shapes, states, and sizes, trigger different senses and sensations. Water can be hot or cold. They can be still or flowing. It can cleanse and purify and also ascend to the sky and descend to the depths of earth. At the same time, water is meek and powerful and soft and strong at the same time. Gentle and submissive and yet nothing can stand in the way of water. Water flows across the land and from, and from the highest peak to the lowest pits, bringing forth and sustaining life. Water speaks to me of integrity, clarity, ability, adaptability, agility, creativity, and tenacity. These are qualities that are needed to survive and succeed in the brave, in the brave new age of disorder. Any obstacle that stands in the way of water will eventually have to give way to it. Water will eventually find its way to its destination. It can move mountains and change landscapes permanently. Therefore, like water, be unstoppable. 
Success belongs to those who never give up. These leaders believe that success is a long corner, but it is just around the corner. They craft some of the most inspiring stories to transform lives and change destinies. Question, how then can you develop tenacity? First, plan. To develop tenacity, you need to have a plan. As they say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Tenacity is not about changing, sorry, tenacity is not about charging into the dark or banging continuously on a solid wall. You need to develop a plan to ensure that you know where you're heading towards and you're prepared to run the race effectively, energetically, and efficiently. Continue to improve on the plan until you reach your de desired destination. Your plan should cover where you came from, where you are right now, where you're going to, and how you plan to reach your objective. Furthermore, it is not just good enough to have a plan. You also need to know how to execute the plan well. Find better ways to reach every milestone on your journey to success. Question, do you have a plan to drive you to success? Second, purpose. Our creator has planted a purpose in your heart and being. That purpose is like a fire burning within you. Unfortunately for some people, the fire may have been cruelly diminished by the people and the world around them. Still, a spark would remain. Reignite the spark. People might try to crush the fire within you, but they could not do it because it is the essence of life. Fire it up. Spend time to reflect on your life. Find the flame of fire and strike it until it shows you what you should do with your life. If you know the why of your existence, you will find out the how. Your purpose in life will drive your, per your performance, your progress, and your pursuits. That sense of purpose will support you as you press on to achieve a higher calling and fulfill a worthier cause. Question, what is your purpose for living? Third, pursuit. I'm sure you have heard of the saying, life is a marathon and not a sprint. To be a good marathon runner, you must choose the right pursuits and be committed to the pursuits. Believe that the pursuit is worth your time, your energy, and all your resources to press on come what may to fulfill your dream. The more inspirational, exciting, and fulfilling the pursuit is, the more you will stretch yourself. The limit of your pursuit is only defined by the limits of your imagination, discipline, and perseverance. Question, what will inspire, motivate, and enthuse you to run a marathon race to achieve success? Fourth, personality. In the process of growing up, you have developed a unique personality with a set of gifts, advantages, and talents. To run a good race, you need to choose a journey that fits your personality. Leverage on your strength so that you can enjoy the race, be productive, and feel more fulfilled. In doing so, you'll be more motivated to improve and achieve better results. Question, what are the endeavors that will fit your personality? What are the endeavors that will not fit your personality? Fifth, passion. We cannot do anything well unless we are passionate about it. Passion is the essence of life and what drives champion. Without, chum without passion, it will be hard to live a life of purpose, significance, and fulfillment. Passion is the generator that powers you with energy, vitality, and dynamicism on the journey of life. That's why if you cannot find passion in what you do, your body, your mind, and your soul will not be committed to it. Passion is the genesis of living a life that's truly worth living. Question, 
What are you passionate about that will make you develop tenacity and achieve success? Six, performance. There is only one life to live and there's no way to wind back the clock to relive your life. Life is not a dress rehearsal and therefore you only have one good shot to live a purposeful life and live your life to the fullest. Take note that there are other there are other areas you can excel in because of your unique strength. Focus on these areas and put your heart and soul into them. Choose areas that you are prepared to battle all odds in order to take yourself to a higher level. By doing that, you can optimize your contributions to the people and the environment around you. Just as importantly, be committed to take massive action to achieve the best possible results. The key difference between those who merely plan and those who make their plans come true is just one word, execution. Execution is the ability to act on your dream. It is also the process of improving your action regularly so that you can achieve a greater dream. Therefore, evaluate your performance constantly so as to take yourself to a higher level. Question, what are you strong at and how can you contribute to improve and excel in your strength? Seventh, priority. To be tenacious, you need to choose the right battles and pace yourself so that you can fight a protracted battle. Success is about knowing your priorities and fulfilling them accordingly. Focus on the important things and not just the urgent things. Important things are those things that can get you the best possible results with your limited resources. Do not be caught up with some people on what some people call the tyranny of the urgent. In other words, do not do things that seem to grab your attention and effort, but they do not contribute equitably to your results. When you major on the majors, you will be able to optimize the returns on your limited resources. Reflect and determine what are the actions that you need to start taking or stop taking so that you can get the best outcomes, outputs, and impacts. What are the actions? that you should do more of or even less of that can help you reach your desired destination. Question, what is the most important thing for you to do right now? It, progress. As a finite person with limited resources, you need to find leverages that can help you improve your productivity and results. To leverage means to do ever more with ever less. As a start, you need to look after your own well-being, including your physical, mental, emotional, and social wealth. Sorry, not wealth, health. If you are fighting fit and strong, you cannot press on and keep pressing on to go further and faster in life. Continue to learn, change, and improve to get better results. Without such a mindset, there will be a limit as to what you can do and achieve. Leverage on ideas, people, systems, technologies, strategies, trends, and other resources to help you get better results. Set up intelligence outposts so that you can benchmark your performance with others. Adopt proven models and strategies from other credible parties and continue to develop new initiatives that will help you to achieve ever improving results. Question, how can you achieve ever more with ever less so as to achieve ever improving results? Tenacity is a mindset, discipline and skill that can be developed and should be developed. It can also be fine-tuned through a process of constant reviews and commitment to achieve ever improving productivity and results. Tenacity comes to taking actions and having the guts, grit, and gumption to press on and keep pressing on despite fears, challenges, and failures. Like masters, if you keep persevering in the right direction and do it rightly, 
exercising your tenacity will help you to further strengthen your ability to be tenacious. Eventually, tenacity will become a part of your mindset, your personality, your operation, and your lifestyle. Tenacity will be an important resource that you can leverage upon to help you to achieve sustainable success. That critical success factor is tenacity. Without tenacity, you can never achieve sustainable success. Thank you very much. I'm ready to take your question right now.